In the aftermath of the explosive confrontation between Analia and her father, Mr. Dawson, emotions run high as Mrs. Dawson, torn between her daughter's distress and her husband's stern stance, chases after her husband in a desperate attempt to mediate the family crisis. Mr. Dawson, unyielding in his decision, delivers a stern message to his wife outlining the gravity of Analia's actions and the potential consequences. He issues a stark ultimatum to Analia, urging her to contemplate her choices and make a decision that will determine her future within the family and the Dawson group. Left alone with her daughter, Mrs. Dawson finds Analia on the sofa, tears streaming down her face and her once pristine world now shattered. In a poignant moment, she addresses Analia, questioning how she could engage in such actions when her parents had provided her with love and guidance throughout her life. Mrs. Dawson, trying to make sense of Analia's misguided pursuit of Zachary, delivers a heartfelt and earnest plea. She implores Analia to consider the consequences of her actions, emphasizing the societal stigma attached to being a mistress and the potential loss of the Dawson family legacy. The mother-daughter conversation becomes a reflection on the values instilled in Analia during her upbringing. Mrs. Dawson draws attention to the importance of morality integrity and respecting the sanctity of marriage. She questions Analia's motivations, urging her to view the situation from the perspective of Zachary's wife and to empathize with the pain that mistresses can cause in the lives of others. Mrs. Dawson's words are filled with both disappointment and maternal concern as she endeavors to guide her daughter back onto a virtuous path. Analia, overwhelmed with remorse and sorrow, confesses her deep infatuation with Zachary. Her mother, in response, continues her impassioned plea, advising Analia to let go of this unattainable love. She highlights the futility of sacrificing everything for a man who is dedicated to his wife, reminding Analia of the numerous excellent men within their own social circle. As Mrs. Dawson extends the tissue to wipe away her daughter's tears, she echoes Mr. Dawson's sentiment that Analia should take the time to reflect on her choices. The chapter closes with a somber acknowledgement of the failure of parental guidance and education. 